Welcome to Learn Neuroradiology, everyone, and welcome to case 11 of this brain tumor AVR board review. Case number 11 is a 55 year old woman who's having difficulty writing and using the right hand. Here on an MRI, we have a flare and a T2, axial images through the brain near the vertex. Take a look at that abnormality, figure out where you think it might be arising from. Here we have pre and post contrast images from the same level. Again, kind of think about where your abnormality might be arising from. With brain tumors, if you can identify where the abnormality is, whether it's intraaxial or extraaxial, that will really help you refine your differential. Here we just have a couple of additional post contrast T1 images from a thin slice axial and uh, sagittal. You can see an abnormality there. Luckily, neuroradiology makes it pretty easy. There's a lot of asymmetry there, which can really help you. Your first question is, what's your most likely diagnosis here? There's not a broad differential diagnosis for this, although there are a few things which are included there. Number two, what is the sign associated with the hand area on MRI? Or which of these signs is associated with that? Is it the thick gyrus sign, thin gyrus sign, midline sulcus sign? or inverted omega sign. So this is really an anatomy question tucked into a question about pathology. This was a case of meningioma. Now meningiomas are the most common brain tumors uh, of all comers, the most common extraaxial mass. So they're very common in practice and you're gonna see them relatively frequently. They're also very common on these uh, ABR tests. They tend to be relatively homogeneous they can be variable on T2. They can be avidly enhancing. And if you see advanced imaging on them, they may often be hyperperfusing and FDG avid. Now, when you're thinking about making a report about meningiomas, you need to think about, is there any mass effect or what is the mass effect? Is there involvement of the adjacent bone? And is there adjacent parenchymal edema or enhancement? If you do see edema, that makes it more likely that there is brain invasion. Meningiomas that have brain invasion are automatically grade two or higher. Now here you see the flare image that we saw before. Uh, you see this extra axial mass along the left convexity. On your T2, you can make out that CSF cleft there. So you can see the CSF space between the tumor and the adjacent brain, which is nice. That means you're probably looking at an extra axial mass. Here you see a dural vein that's probably displaced away from the calvarium. Again, probably making you think you have an extra axial mass. Here's your post contrast images. Again, you see this avidly enhancing, pretty homogeneous mass. It has a broad dural attachment. And you probably have a little bit of a dural tail here where you can see uh, the cellular components of that tumor extending along the dura. That's one of the quintessential findings of a meningioma. So that can be very helpful if you see that. If you're looking at an extraaxial mass that's homogeneous and avidly enhancing, meningioma is really your, your top one, two, and three on your differential. So your second question was an anatomy question about what's the sign associated with the hand area. Uh, the sign that you'll see there is the inverted omega sign. Now here you see why that is because it looks like the Greek letter omega. It's just upside down here. So this is the hand area known as the hand knob. This is an image from an fMRI or task-based fMRI while the patient's doing finger tapping. You can see this area that's reddish orange here is the area of cortical activation there during finger tapping. So you can see the hand areas right there. If you remember, this patient was having hand difficulties and difficulty writing. It's easy to understand why that might be the case because of the location of this tumor. Thanks to everyone for tuning into this video. Uh, we've got more great brain tumor videos to come. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Thank you.